Put your drinks up in the sky Go and leave it all behind Just be free and live your life Give it up tonight Don't waste no time Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Sipping with Sheer Magic How are you guys doing today? Happy Taco Tuesday Are y'all eating tacos? What are y'all eating? As y'all can see, I got Taco Bell I got me a taco, and I got me a nacho bell grande. Looking good. Um, and what are y'all sipping on? I got me a, I didn't drink most of it, mango slushy. That's good. Good, good. Anyway, let me send my prayer so I can eat because I'm hungry. God is great. God is good. Let me thank you for my food. Amen. And bless the ones that are not able to eat to have food on their table on a daily basis. Amen. What are you guys up to? What is going on? How is your weather? Where you are? It is not too bad in Kansas City. What's the temperature? 84 degrees, something like that. I ain't got no napkins. Good Lord. And they ain't put none in the bag. That's crazy. Oh, Lord. Customer service these days. They don't put no napkins in the bag. Pull up to the window. You got to speak to them. Because they damn sure don't know how to speak to you. When you pull up to put your order in. And I did the app. I ordered mine through the app. Yeah, I need a napkin. Well, I'm about to. I'm about to make them out. Hold on, y'all. Let me go grab a napkin. Okay, I'm back, y'all. But yeah, you know, like, when y'all go to different places and stuff, you pull up, they don't want to speak. You have to speak to them first. Like, hi, how's your day today? How are you doing? I'm getting still we complain and still go to these places to eat. <laughs> There's a Walmart by my house that I just recently started going back there. But that Walmart, they just so rude. I'm like, I refuse to spend my money here. And it's like right up the street from my house. I'll drive out farther now just to get customer service. I started going back because I needed something like last minute. And I really didn't have time to drive like 20 minutes away. So, I just went up the street. And the lady was an older lady. She was really nice. Had great customer service and everything. But, anyway, bless their heart. I'm just grateful that they at work. Grateful they got a J-O-B and that they showed up to work. Uh, what am I going to tell y'all? I'm going to tell y'all something. Speaking of that. Um, oh, Lord, I lost my train of thought. Oh. Talking about people working and stuff. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere is just short style. Like, people, I guess they don't quit their jobs or working from home or I don't know what they're doing. But everywhere is short style. Like, when you go to Walmart, when you go to restaurants, when you go to just anywhere, they just say be patient with them because they're short staff. And I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. It's crazy. I'm trying to have a job. Oh, excuse me. Um, three extra streams of income. So, like I was saying, to get back to what I was saying, I like I can't talk when I'm eating. Like I'm concentrating, y'all. <laughs> I was saying that to say. 
that when I do go to places, I try to thank them for being at work because they really don't have to be. And if she wasn't at work, I probably wouldn't have got my Taco Bell. I would have just cooked tacos today. <laughs> It seems like I have tacos every Tuesday. I'm going to turn into a damn taco. Anyway, what's going on in y'all's world? I didn't want much. Just to come on and say happy Taco Tuesday. Eat my Nacho Bell Grande. I'm going to show y'all some bedroom candy stuff in a minute, but I didn't want my food to get cold. So I'll see you let me just hit the record button. Did y'all watch the BET Awards on Sunday? I know I'm all late. I didn't watch the whole thing. I fell asleep. I was watching them in the beginning and stuff. I did like P. Diddy's um, thing when they honored P. Diddy or whatever. I did like that. Um, the war shows aren't like they used to be like back in the day. I used to would not miss an award show. Now they're just not as, mm -hmm. I don't know what, what, I mean, they're just, I don't know. They're just different, I guess I should say that. They're just different. But... I've been trying to get this paper, y'all. I've been trying to get these coins. I can't believe I'm speechless. I'm always talking about something. And today I don't even know what to talk about. You'll see very few videos of mine like this. Well, I don't hardly have nothing to say, that's for sure. <laughs> today at work, I just I just didn't even feel like talking at all. All right. People was talking to me. Well, you know I have to talk to my customers. I just wasn't in a talking, talking, talking mood. I get like that sometimes. Not often, but I just didn't feel like really talking. And I was just listening to people talk. And I feel like they was talking forever, going on and on and on. But, you know, they say nutrition, we're therapists too. We have to listen to everybody's problems and stuff. Which is fine. I like being a help to people. But, um, yeah, y'all, so I've just been busy, been trying to get this paper, get these coins. I had a nice time with my family the other day at the kickball. Um, little hangout. Family and friends was there. It was hot as hell outside, but I got through it, y'all. I didn't run the ball. I kicked it and I had a runner. <laughs> I was like, I ain't about to pass out in this heat. I'm trying to run. But it was really fun. We was out there for I had my little sister with me, so we was out there for a couple of hours. I had to get her home. So that's what I did. Saturday, Sunday work. Tried to record a video yesterday. And I was sitting at the table. I had my front door open. I had my screen door locked. I had my attic fan on. What is, I got cheese everywhere. And I was sitting at the table and I recorded a video. And then I did something after the video and I was going to edit it. And so uh, when I already edited it, I think somebody had called me or something. But anyway, I got distracted and um, didn't edit it. And was sitting here at the kitchen table and fell asleep, y'all. Like literally just sitting here. 
And I got up and I'm like, oh my God, my door is open. It's like 11 something at night. Somebody could have walked up in here on me. I was so nervous last night when I got to go to bed. Because I'm like, oh Lord, I hope anybody in my house or they walk by looking, you know, looking in my house or whatever. I had the front room light off, but the kitchen light was on. And I was like, I hope that nobody walk by and look up in here while I'm sitting here asleep at the table. So that was a scary moment. But I'm not going to get rid of that video, that's for sure. I'm trying to think if I even said Happy Money Making Monday. I'm sure I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. That'll be the video y'all see next Monday. <laughs> I usually race like videos that like if I record and didn't get it out in time, I would erase it. And when the girl's like, you better quit wasting content. P from P made family. She said, don't waste content. You can record it, you know, like post it later or something. She says she record old content. I guess people get mad. But I'm like, I've been taking my time trying to make it right. And it just be getting late sometime. So, anyway. I'm just rambling, y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all long. I always say that. And then I still be talking. Because I could always come up with something to talk about. Are y'all ready for the 4th of July? Do y'all pop fireworks and stuff? I don't. I don't fool with fireworks. My brothers used to tease me when I was younger with fireworks and stuff. So I guess it just like... Mm -hmm. Did something to me. <laughs> I like going to watch like the the um, big displays, like when they have the big fireworks shows and stuff like that. I love going to watch them, but I don't pop fireworks myself. I stay away from them. And I remember when we were growing up, my uncle, he's a big firework person, and he would go spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on fireworks. And we would barbecue at my mama's house or something like that. And we just watch him pop the fireworks and stuff. And we have fun. It was good times. I don't even know if he still does that though. Come to think of it. He done got older so he probably don't. I don't know. I'm speaking like I know but I really don't know. Yep, so I don't know what I'm doing for the 4th of July. I don't feel like barbecuing, I know that. I thought about barbecuing because I haven't barbecued in a minute. So I thought about barbecuing. Um, maybe having a few people over. Not a lot of people because I don't feel like doing a lot of cleaning. But just something simple. So anyway... Let me put this up so I can show y'all my bedroom candy stuff. We got convention, y'all, in August. And I'm so excited. Y'all gonna keep hearing me talk about convention. All the way to August and then some. 10th year anniversary. I've only been a consultant for two and a half, three years. Um, both of the conventions that we had past two years was virtual. So I attended both of them. This will be my first um, in-person convention. I can't wait to meet the ladies that I'm on these Zoom calls with every week. We be having happy hour, having fun. 
And I can't wait to meet Candy and see, you know, what artists she'll have there to come and turn up with us for the 10th anniversary. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. So, okay, let me put this up so, can sh so I can show y'all my stuff. And I'm going to let y'all go, all right? Okay, y'all, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Got my boxes. And y'all know I was not going to let y'all get up out of here without me having my good, good. Finished up that uh, mango. And this glass, look, y'all, it's froze every day. Absolutely, vodka. So anyway, I opened these at work, but I wanted to show y'all. What was in here? So this is our I'll Enjoy Bath and Shower Gel. Look how cute the container is. I'm always talking about the container. And this is our Bedroom Candy Massage Oil Trio. There's three in a the pack. They're just really cute. Don't break a nail, girl. Don't break a nail. But that little bottle goes a long way, though. To massage that special person in your life. I like massages, and I like giving massages. How about y'all? And then this one is our Coconut Dream Body Oil. All the goodnesses. And this is our Juneteenth. Um, get that out of the way. Juneteenth Lipstick. It says candy coated, candy coated, and look at the pretty Juneteenth color. I'm not big on makeup, but I've been waiting to um, get this. This one is Sweet Brownie, and it has Juneteenth on there. It has uh, June 18th, or June 19th, 1865. What else does it have on there? Black Lives Matter. That's really cute. And look, that's the little case that it comes in. How cute is that color? Can y'all see that? And like I said before, it has a magnetic clip. So when you have it in your purse or your bag or whatever you keep your makeup in, it won't come off. So that's a cute little keepsake container. So when you get done with your makeup, I mean, with your um, your makeup, your lipstick, you wouldn't want to throw this away. You would definitely want to keep this. This is really pretty. And the box, too. The box is cute. So that's that. And these, we have these trifold um, catalogs. I have a, a pop-up shop coming up, so I can use these at the pop-up shop. That's cold. I don't want to touch that with my So then that's the catalog. That's the front. That's the back. And then all you have to do is just open it up. And it has the different sections in there. And then open that up. Make sure you don't have it upside down. And that's like different clips and stuff that's in our catalog. So that's really, really neat. So when I go to my pop-up shops or if I'm out and about... Like we have the new KISS app, so I can get people's information off the KISS app. They send me their number, and I put it in my thing, and I can send them the catalog. I can send them the hostess catalog. I can send them different things from the KISS app. That way we can stay connected. They have my information. I have their information. Um, go to the website, different things like that. But if we're out and about, and I'm not getting everybody's things, if it's a real busy event, I can't everybody's then these will be perfect for laying them out so the customers can grab those but yeah so those are my bedroom candy items y'all had to show y'all something 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 but i'm about to get up off of here like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll know when i come on to run my mouth about whatever i want to talk about today it was a different day because i really didn't have a lot to talk about but at least I showed up. I showed up. I hit the record button. And I'm here and I'm about to be out. Go and follow. Um, let me see who we can follow. Eating with Jay. Go follow Eating with Jay. Go follow. Um, I just started following the lady. Melissa. What's her name? 
Is it Melissa? Yeah, Melissa Samuel. Samuel. S-U-M-I-E-L. -U -E I'll leave it in here. Um, and then um, who else? Uh, uh, Pamela, Pamela, the CEO. Um, she was the one I was telling y'all that I had redid my intro. And uh, when I clicked on it to uh, YouTube to find out how to do an intro, um, I seen some different videos. But when I seen hers, it was so easy. It was simple. I mean, it was a couple little hiccups. But for me to do it, yeah, it was easy. She She's a good teacher. Because <laughs> sometimes I'll be lost. I'm like, what did they just say? What are they talking about? You know. So, yeah, Pamela, the CEO, I just started following her. So, go and follow my YouTube family, y'all, because it's all about the support, support, support. Uh, but until next time, I'm about to be up out of here. I will see y'all tomorrow, or maybe tomorrow or Thursday. I'll see y'all this week again. All right? Shoe Magic is out. Deuces.